Let's call the meeting to order for Monday, October 16th, 2023. Please rise for the pledge. Older woman, Vanetta Webb, will lead us in prayer. Please join me in prayer. Lord, as we draw to the close of this day, when we've been celebrating 200 years as a county, thank you for this wonderful time of celebration that we've enjoyed over the past several days. Thank you for beautiful weather, for joyous events, and for each person who graciously gave of their time and talents and all their efforts to make these days of celebration possible. Uh, but Lord, we especially come to you with grateful hearts for the many blessings you have poured out into our community over the past 200 years. Thank you for a foundation of strong faith, for your guiding hand in all our difficulties through war and natural disaster and sickness. Thank you for fertile fields and prosperous industry and past generations of leaders who pointed us toward the future that we enjoy today. Thank you for a strong sense of community, for our neighbors who have welcomed each of us with open, open hearts and open arms and welcomed new people into our community. Thank you for allowing folks from Dyer County to bless our country and our world. And thank you for allowing folks from across the country and around the world to come and find a home in our community. Uh, please lead us and guide us as a board for this city as we prepare for the future and help us serve our, our city and our community well. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, please show all present here tonight, with the exception of Joey Harrison, we do have a quorum and can conduct business. Next item, general's public comment. Nobody filed to uh, um, speak tonight. Next item will be approval of minutes from October 2nd. October, yeah, October 2nd, 2023. Entertain a motion to approve the minutes. A motion from Coach Coles or a second. Second from Rick Crawford, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda, unfinished business. Any unfinished business? Seeing none, next item, new business. On a new business, I have a public hearing for two beer permits. Two beer permits, we'll take those individually. Chief, all that information is in your packet. Uh, it was sent out to you. The notice was put in the paper, survey, uh, the codes department, fire department, all that's in there. So, Chief. All right, thank you. Uh, background investigations were completed on, on these businesses due to change in ownership. Uh, the applicant submitted an application for off-premise beer permit, which would allow the sale of beer at the location of Casey's One Stop, located at 1012 U.S. Highway 51 Bypass. Background investigation uh, came back clear um, and, and find no reason to deny the applicant uh, a beer permit. All of the ordinances uh, in order, uh, all the paperwork's in order, and I'd recommend issuance of a beer permit. All right, thank you. This is for, for Gordon Express, 100 Gordon Street in Dyersburg, Tennessee. I entertain a motion to approve this. Was this KC that he just talked about? Yeah, he talked about KC. He's talking about KC. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I, that's why I was looking at the agenda. This one was KC's. Okay. I'm sorry. Excuse me. All right. That KC's number two on the agenda. I'm sorry. So KC's one stop uh, located in Dyersburg, uh, Mr. Patel. Uh, so that's the one we're voting on. This, uh, this is a public hearing. Let me get a motion first. Is there a motion to approve KC's? I so moved. Motion from Vanetta, is there a second? Second. Second from Ricky Hammond. This is a public hearing. Anybody in the audience wish to speak? Seeing nobody, uh, we have a motion and a second to approve the uh, beer permit for Casey's One Stop. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Yes, All right, thank you. Motion passes. Next item on the agenda is number one on our uh, agenda, Gordon Express, 100 Gordon Street, Dinesburg, Tennessee. Thank you, my apologies for going out of order. Um, this one is for Gordon's Express, 100 Gordon Street. Same situation, change in ownership. So a background investigation was completed for an off-premise beer permit, which will allow the sale of beer at this location. Uh, everything in the background checked out. Uh, find no reason to deny the applicant a beer permit. 
Yeah, you've heard the recommendation from the chief. I'd entertain a motion to approve uh, this beer permit. I move. Motion from Bonetta. Is there a second? I'll second. I have second. a question, too. Okay, second from Edward Burks. Um, yes. Go ahead with your question. The exhibit map on the back page is for timbers. Do we have the proper exhibit or survey? Wrong map on, on file. It's the wrong map. It's on yeah, here. Yeah, that's why I was going to be sure we have the correct one. Yes, they have a current survey. Okay. Yes. Timbers will be on next month. Okay, so we have one next month for timbers, but we do have a current survey for the one we're talking about. Okay, all right. Sorry about that. All right, we have a motion and a, a second. Uh, this is a, a public hearing. Anybody wish to speak to that? Uh, seeing none, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Uh, next item, thank you, Chief. Appreciate it. Next item on the agenda bids, Greg Williams. I think there is one bid. Uh, does not need board action. Solid waste department landfill repair of planetary gears and a dirt pan tractor. Uh, purpose to maintain covered dirt and, and for the landfill. Uh, is a budgeted item and repair and maintenance was approved in the uh, uh, last uh, budget that we passed. So, uh, bid H and R Agri Power twenty one thousand six fifty three zero five. Recommendation uh, or the bid was awarded to them. Any questions about that? All right. Uh, next item on the agenda: report from Alderman, Mr. Baltimore. I just want to want to thank the. Uh, all the workers that worked the other night, other day, on the, with the breast cancer, uh, um, we really appreciate the the hard work that you all did out there, and thank you so much for what you did. And we want to be in prayer for Israel. Um, we know we got the war, the wars going on over there. And we want to be in prayer for those people over there. And it's, it's a shame that so many people are getting killed over there, and we just ask God to bless them. All right, thank you. Edward? I just want to thank everybody involved with the Dark County Bicentennial uh, celebration also, and I think it's very successful, and I need to remember that the city of Dyer will have one in 2025. That's all. Thank you. Coach Cole? Yes, uh, just to piggyback on Edward, uh, it was a job well done to the committee. told me I saw a gentleman out patching the street. And I, at first I thought it might have been an employee, but he didn't have on the uniform and there was no truck around. So guy told me, and I told Scott what, what street it was, and he informed me that uh, he wished he had not uh, done it because we were getting ready to do some on it, work on it, and we did. But my big concern is where have we gotten to that People don't trust us to get the job done. They feel like they have to go out and do it as civil and private citizens. Somewhere along the line, uh, we need to instill in them that they don't have to do this because we will take care of it. It will get done, it's getting done. So I didn't get to talk to you, but it, it just weighed on me. That we, where have we gotten to at that point that people don't have faith in us to upkeep our roads. But I, if I'd have gotten been able to catch up with him, I would have talked to him and told him that it's going to get done. It may not get done when you want it to get done, but it will be getting, it will be done. So. Yes, sir. I, I appreciate that. And obviously when we do the uh, street cuts or some of the repair, we have to fill it with uh, white gravel and uh, let that settle with rain and stuff. So I will say, I know where this is and um, don't know if it's this guy or not, but 
uh, there was a gentleman getting buckets of white rock, putting it in his house, okay, uh, from that particular street cut. Uh, go ahead and say that. Uh, clear as a whistle now, it's been fixed, all the rock is gone, uh, and I hope that gentleman put it to good use. So there's another side to that um, little bit of information, Coach Cole. You're welcome. Rick? I just uh, join the others in uh, thanking all those that, that worked so hard um, this past weekend for uh, the bicentennial celebrations, uh, and especially on Friday for the Communi Community Cancer Fund benefit. Uh, I know folks that spent all day, well, probably all week, but especially all, all night, Thursday night, to make sure that everything was going to run well on Friday, and I really appreciate those folks for what they do. All right. Thank you. Dennis, I mean Rick, I'm sorry, Ricky. Oh, poor Dennis. Oh, uh, Mayor, didn't we, uh, the city, step up and do the intersection of Sampson and Gordon? Yes, sir, we did. The state route? We did, yes, sir. Thank you, because I know many people have been thrilled to death about that. That was one of the worst intersections, that, you know, and the state, for some reason, couldn't do it. So thanks for the city doing it. All right. That's all I have. Thank you. Bonetta? Um, one, one thing I want to mention, it was a great weekend this weekend, celebrating our county's uh, bicentennial, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Good event today downtown. Thank you all for, uh, for coming out, those that were there. Um, so in your packet, I included with you, in your packet uh, a letter from the fire department, the chief, about the um, county fire protection service. I just want to keep mentioning that. Uh, we sent this letter out. Um, Last Wednesday, I think, uh, did it uh, on the 11th and mailed it out. Mailed it out that day, actually. Uh, but sent it to all the residents in the county, not by name, because some of that has changed probably, but, but to addresses that were uh, still on our list of county fire protection service that's available. So uh, we sent it to the resident of those addresses. Uh, we're going to continue to send it out, post it on social media. It was posted. This letter and this public notice was posted again last week. It was posted again today. Again, that's a, simply a voluntary thing. If you want to have uh, city fire protection, uh, if you live in the county, we'll do that for the five mile radius. Um, like I said last time, contact your insurance agent to see if it would benefit you with your homeowner's insurance. But it's a service that we provide to county residents, been doing it since the 80s. So gonna continue to talk about that, let people know that. And we're trying to exhaust every avenue that we have to notify people that have not updated uh, their fire protection service. So uh, we thought the letter would be good uh, to send to those residents. Again, not by name, but by addresses in our system. So we did that last week, but wanted to make you all aware of it as well. Okay. With that, we're adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>